going on guys i haven't done a any kind of tutorial videos in a while so i thought i'd do a quick one here that somebody requested a while ago um it's about how to properly get a model to learn teeth in a fairly rapid fashion so this is for saehd training um amp is another story and it's like i still don't have real good luck with amp so i'm not going to try to figure that one out and it's a, to be a different method but we're going to go over saehd how to learn get your model to, to fairly rapidly learn teeth if you're having a hard time with it um sometimes what will happen and anybody who's done enough deep fakes will kind of know that um like it sometimes it doesn't want to learn the bottom teeth especially sometimes the upper teeth it'll have a little bit trouble with too it, it kind of depends on how the person talks so if it's a person who doesn't open their mouth very wide and you don't see their teeth very much when they're speaking that can be a problem uh and you can also have problems when it's like they only ever show their upper teeth like um or some people only show the bottom teeth like patrick stewart you almost only ever see the bottom teeth and christian bale is the other way around where you almost and chris hemsworth had the same problem with the lower teeth are almost never in view so with that said um i've come up with a pretty simple system that seems to work for me that pretty rapidly will teach your model uh like i say to learn teeth so what you need to do is make it look at teeth all the time so what we've done here is i've got my workstation folder here this is uh idris elba i'm working on and i've got my source folder and my destination folder again i'm not going to really go over like a lot of basic minutia for deep fake making if you need to understand how to make a deep fake at a more basic level i have tutorials for that on my channel and this is strictly for the topic of to tooth training so uh, i'm going to assume that people are watching this already kind of has some idea of how to make a deep fake and they're just struggling with getting the teeth to come in a little bit so uh the source material is whatever your face set is but what i've done with it is i've gone into the align folder and as you can see i have intentionally only got about 100 well, 159 images here just pick a random smattering of images from your source library that all show his teeth so in this case like we've got you know something there there whatever just different images I guess that one doesn't, so I can get that one out of here, but whatever. As long as the gist of them have teeth uh, showing, that's what you want. Preferably good quality, so that one I'm actually going to delete that image. That one's not that great either, but uh, I've still been going through these, trying to get uh, get it down to where I've only got really sharp quality, but action flicks. This came from Hobbs and Shaw and action films, as you can see, uh, often end up resulting in some blur. There we go. That's all sharp. But anyways, you get the idea, though. Like, you want a smattering of source images kind of trying to look in most directions that show his teeth or her teeth, depending on what you're at, you know, whether you're doing a man or a woman. So that's the source uh, library. This is all my other images. I just put them off in another folder. So I've got about another 8,400 images of him, but just ones for teeth. Any ones will do. Like, kind of show somewhere he's got his teeth together, somewhere he's got you know, like a scream or like a wide open mouth. Some uh, kind of try to get with a head tilt, tilted back, you know, both sides, maybe looking down a little bit, lower teeth, upper teeth, whatever you can kind of get that shows uh, kind of a variation from different directions of the person's mouth, open displaying the teeth, preferably both upper and lower, but some with upper or some with lower is also fine. So that's the source library. We're going to jump over to the destination folder. Same story here. Um, this is a separate folder. Don't worry about that. This is uh, all pictures of Arnold Schwarzenegger that I've got. I'll make this uh, this face that's already available on my Google Drive, but I probably haven't really shown it on my channel before. It's more listed in the Discord servers that I've been frequenting, but I will put this link uh, to this face set. I don't even know why I have that. In there. I have one in there where he isn't doing anything. But anyways, uh, you can see these all came out of pretty much like Total Recall and Kindergarten Cop where he's kind of got this crazy, you know, you know, Arnold stuff going on. And so his teeth are being shown, though, in every image. And so all it does is it forces it to constantly look at, ooh, teeth, 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 teeth. Every time it's training, it's seeing teeth. And the problem that we're, you know, you're running into where it's not learning it is that, you know, again, I've got 8,400 other images here, a lot of which his mouth may not be open. And so there's quite a few times where an iteration passes and it's not comparing teeth. And so if you have, let's just say, um, a majority of images where the teeth are not being shown, 
or it's not necessarily making a comparison of a teeth to a teeth image, you're not getting it learned in that iteration. So you may go a large number of iterations of training and not really get the teeth to do anything. Whereas this way, we're giving it no choice. It's going to learn what we want it to learn. And then I'll just throw our, all the images back in, but it won't forget about the teeth at that point. So I've got my source and my destination folders kind of set up how I want them. And I'm going to go ahead and tell it to train SAEHD. I've already got the settings kind of how I want them. This is using my dual A6000 system. So this is a the fastest system I currently have with my i9-12900K. I thought about getting a 13900K, but I don't think it would make any real difference for this. So I don't know. It'd be just upgrading for the sake of upgrading. So you can see it's loading, it's loading. I know it's very exciting. I'm doing uh, two Idris Elba models. One of them is uh, downstairs on my other one of my other machines. Uh, that one will be a 320 resolution live model. This is a 512 resolution model, uh, just for like doing deepfake videos as opposed to doing, uh, you know, deepface live. 512 SAEHD is really not viable for deepface live. So you'll still have to let it train for a while. But as you can see, every time it trains in it, you know, it, it passes an iteration. It's an image of him with his teeth. And then we can see Arnold. And so it's going to be a little bit, but this is the point of doing it this way is, uh, like I say, every time it does an iteration, it can't help but compare teeth to teeth. And in a fairly short order, it could still take, and this doesn't sound fast, but like it could still take it overnight, for example, to give you a good result. Uh, but usually like in a few hours, and you can kind of see here, there's some separation on the top already of his teeth there. Not so much here, but again, I just kind of started doing this. Prior to this, I was just doing the whole uh, face set, and it was taking, in my opinion, too long. And I would like this to get kind of going here. And so we will let it uh, do its thing. I will come back and show you guys the result when I'm uh, kind of happy with where it's at. So I'll be back when it looks like it's done. Kind of try to give you a rough idea of how long it took, but I expect it will probably take... This is the 512 res model. It could take a little bit. Like, it might be tomorrow morning before this is actually done. It's about 7.23 p.m. We've been talking for about 10 minutes, so... But I just started it, so again, like, in the morning... I'll check it before I go to bed, but probably in the morning we'll start seeing what we want to see. So I'll talk to you guys when I am back. All right, so it's, uh, like, 11.20 at night, so it's been going for, what, like, four hours? I did play around a little bit with, uh with what I had in the source and destination folders. I got a little bug on my screen here. Uh, I did add a few more to the source. And actually, I probably should take these ones back out. You can see, like, they've got colored light on them, but the teeth are really well-defined, and I figured that would be useful. But I kind of think that these rainbow lights probably don't have much value. I don't know. I, I'll think about it, but whatever. Uh, but I did add those in. I added in, I think we had like 150-something before, like 156 or something. I added in like 50, 60 more images, something like that, with just more teeth, just to give it more, a little bit more angles and whatnot. And then for the destination, I went back, and uh, I took a few. Like, I don't have anything in my source face set. Uh of his head tilted back with his mouth wide open like this. I, I don't have anything. Like, I used one movie to make this face set, and that's not in it. So, um, there's going to be some limitations on the face set. I can't do anything about it. And one thing that's annoying to some degree about this face set, let me show you what I'm talking about, is uh, you can see his teeth. I don't know how you can see it, but uh, like the bottom teeth, he has some gold teeth for some reason. And it's only on half the one side. There's like four of them. It's not symmetrical, so I can't use source flip. And I can't go and like get a footage from another movie with him in it to increase the size of the face set because uh, he doesn't have... I can't find any other footage of him with the golden teeth for some reason. So I don't know why that was the thing they went with in that movie. 
but it makes it difficult to add to this face set anything else. Otherwise, I might, uh, like I have Pacific Rim, for example, uh, as a movie I own, that I could rip that or whatever. There's plenty of stuff he's been in, like uh, The Dark Tower and so forth. I'm sure there's other stuff where he's got the same facial hair that I could use, but he doesn't have the golden teeth, so decisions. So, that said, oh, sorry, I got uh, watching a cooking show. Anyways, um, so where are we at? Let me bring this up. You can see, it's been going, like I said, about four hours. It's a little hard to tell, but like the top teeth are definitely quite defined. It's a little difficult to tell, but the bottom teeth are largely defined too, most of these that I've seen. Like here, you can tell they're, they're getting defined. Looks a little bit weird, like when I show, uh, so like Arnold is well learned. And some of these you can tell, like the teeth are coming in, the teeth are there. Um, I think I need to enable like a color transfer mode probably because it's like Idris is not transferring well to this skin tone. And I'm going to probably have to enable it anyway. This looks really weird for some reason. Some of them are just looking funky. Uh, like maybe I don't have an angle, or, or sorry, I don't have an alignment in my folder that matches that image really well or something. I don't know what the deal is, but most of these are fine. Let's see here. Like there you can see the bottom teeth are getting some def definition. And again, as long as most of them are good, again, I can come back here. You can see those are learned. The upper teeth are better than the lower teeth. I probably should let it go a bit further. Like This is really horrific. This, um, this angle, this particular image, works pretty poorly with anything I've tried on it. I don't know how to deal with that, so I'm not going to blame my face at too bad. But anyways, you get the idea. The point is, is like I say, you just do, um, you know, a bunch of source images with just the teeth, destination images with the, just the teeth. I might make a different face set at some point, you know, and add some more, uh, or make a different destination face set, I should say, you know, and add more people than just Arnold, try to get some more angles in there. People making, you know, like different kinds of grins and facial expressions. So it's not just one person and make sure I get a few more angle shots in there or something. But this is largely effective. Um, and like I said, you can kind of tailor it to your face set. So just have uh, aligned images in here that kind of match up with what your source has. And, you know, just give it kind of a one-to-one. -one. And like I said, we pretty much get what we want. So... Hopefully that's useful information. If I kind of skip glossed over anything, again, it's this is kind of me expecting that people who are watching this, like this isn't fully learned yet, so I'll probably let it keep going a bit longer, but um, I kind of expect that people are watching this that already, you know, have some understanding of how to make a deep fake, and like maybe they've run into the problem where they're getting trouble getting the teeth to get well learned. So hopefully this will help you with that. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, ask them in the comment section below. Uh, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe to the channel if you like this. If you found it helpful, go ahead and give it a subscri subscribe. I'll try to do more stuff like this in the near future. People ask me to do like a head model uh, tutorial. I would like to do one of those, but it's like um, I need to really make like a good, like for again, for you guys who know what tra how to do training, like they have the RTM face set for making live models. I need to make like a really good quality uh, head RTM face set uh, to train against because it seems like the, the what I've been doing is like I just convert like a whole face one to head and it doesn't really work that well. It, it does okay. Some of them have turned out better than other ones, but I need to, to work on that. There's a bunch of stuff I'd like to do and it's just like when you have time, I'll screw around with it when I feel like it and when I have the time to do it. So anyways, appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this was useful. Talk to you guys again here real soon. Uh, when I have Idris available, I'll uh, do a video about that. So take care. Have a good day.